Welcome to Krakow. Today is the day that the Christmas market finally opens. A number of the Christmas fairs around Europe have been open for a week or two, but Krakow finally gets to start today. And the Christmas fair Krakow is regarded by many sources as one of the best ones in Europe. So let's go see what it's all about. It's right on four o'clock here in the city. We're going to be dark in about 20 minutes. So let's go see what we have. Of course, it's a beautiful city any time of the year for Christmas. Even a little more special. So of course we have to start with the traditional hay now bugle call that we have on every hour here in Market Square. Now, it's a little different to last year. Last year, this is where the market was. This, the, the town square in Krakow is one of the biggest in Europe and it's split into two halves with this cloth hall being what splits it into two. So last year the Christmas fair was on this side as was the Christmas tree. Now I know it's starting today and it's not on this side so it's got to be on the other side. But nice that it's not an identical replica of last year, so every year I guess they make it a little bit different. So inside the cloth hall here is a year-round a year -round shopping arcade. And I'm sure, as you can see, they're already looking for some of that Christmas trade as well but this this you can see all year round beautiful yes and then this looks like the Christmas market we've been looking for so welcome crack out 2022 Oh, wow. This is very different to last year. They didn't have these decorations last year. How pretty is that? And it's... It's in its own sort of square rectangle this year, so... Makes it a easy, little easier to navigate. I'm impressed. It's beautiful. Now the tree isn't lit yet. I'm not sure when they're going to light the tree. I don't even see the tree. Last year they did that on the same day. Or the day after the market opened. This year not. So Let's start of course with candy. Looks like Turkish delight. Excellent. Can only <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I'm trying to see what's new this year, what's different. Hi. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> Rolling pins. Big variety. Now this is busy, but tomorrow being a Saturday, it'll be crazy. We did a pretty full video last year, so if you do want, you can compare to what we saw 12 months ago. This one was here for sure. Ginger houses, gingerbread houses, my friend, gingerbread. Mulled wine has to be done. I have to confess, I'm, I'm not actually a fan of mulled wine. I guess it keeps you warm. Okay. I don't remember this one last year. Hi there, Jim Dobry. Ukraine. Ukraine, excellent. They're uh, for the table, yeah? Ah. Excellent, thank you for explaining. Oh. Okay. Krakow's going further the pretty this year. Great, great job. Great job. Little uh, candles. Honey. Honey's uh, always popular, always a regular feature at these craft fairs. This definitely smells like mulled wine again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so last week we posted from the markets at Zakopane and I know that some of the Stalls here are going to sell the same thing. So this is the sheep's cheese. Saw this all over in, in Zakopane. Very traditional to this part of the world. Very popular. And best served, warmed with some ham or prosciutto. The combination is excellent. And then you put a little sauce, like jam on it. Floral arrangements. I love it. I love it. I love it. Some of this is um, like regular product. 
some of it especially for for Christmas. Oh, definitely a Christmas theme going on here. Of course, now's the time to buy when all the best stuff is here. This is all it takes to put me in the Christmas mood. Oh, I wish they'd put that one on. That looks good. So this is the type of stuff we saw in Zakopane, wool products. We bought a blanket there last week. And you know, the price was, I guess, I sort of 30 or 40 dollars. It's fantastic. It's the warmest blanket I ever had, and it is so comfortable. I wish we'd bought more than one. So this wool and leather products that, that you see here, they're the real deal. And they're high quality. Okay, nothing says Christmas like a bunch of spoons. That's what I always say. You want chocolate? You want chocolate? Chocolate covered fruits. I knew this would happen. It's going to be it's going to be ridiculously hard to film and to eat. But I want to eat. Hello. Oh. Chocolate covered bananas. That looks like chocolate covered chilies. I just might have to loop back. This is what I was talking about the leather goods. It's the real deal. This is great product from, from Zakopane. No? I think they're from Zakopane. Ah, I just wondered if they had any of the little cheeses. Yeah, they got the little ones. This is what Christmas... Baby, baby cheeses. I always say Christmas is about the baby cheeses. Little, little British humour. For you there? Injected into the proceedings. Okay, I know this is the soup stall. Oh, ma'am. The smell is is very nice. Garlic soup. Well, let me show you the menu. Beetroot, tomato, garlic, vegetable, mushroom, pea, sour rye. That's like the local soup, which is excellent. Brittany bean goulash soup, borscht in Ukrainian. I'm pretty sure it didn't specify it was Ukrainian last year, so we know why that is. And bigosh. Oh, the vegetable soup. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And lots of hungry, lots of hungry people and lots of meat. Kebabs, giant, kielbasa sausage, pork, hungry, hungry kids. Fantastic. Look at the fries. Oh, I think I think what he's got on what he's got on his plate. That's what I would have. For you is I like your choice. <laughs> Excellent. 
sorry. If you know, if you want, if you want this to be like a walkabout video where it's quiet, ah, oh, just just turn the volume down. They come to visit. Hi there. We got several pieces of uh, local Polish pottery again. It's a great purchase. The stuff that we've bought, we really like. This is just a mixture of, you know, the regular stuff. But there are definitely some Christmas pieces here as well. The tree. I'm hearing more English accents than Polish accents. <laughs> Snowman. <laughs> Snowman. Oh, excellent. Look at that. I love, I love those. Christmas ornaments. Now these are what little shop key. This is a absolute tradition of Krakow. Go back last year. We made a video just about the shop key. It's a huge deal here. On Thursday this week, Polish people of Krakow are going to come and bring models, Christmas cribs, very very ornate. They're going to bring them to Old Square and present them. For sure I'll be trying here and bring you a video about that. I did it last year. It was one of the best videos I think we did because it's just something absolutely unique. Unique to crack off, very Christmassy. And the craftsmanship that these guys do is amazing. But this is just a Christmas ornament kind of, you know, the, the signify what they do here. These are not the models themselves. The models are incredible. Food time. Potato cakes. We didn't have a bad potato cake here. Okay. So you get a big slab of bread. And then she's going to lather on there the onions, the ham, the pickles. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Some sort of, I don't know what that, the mush is with the peas and stuff. I would go for meat and onion. The churros, Mexican churros. How does a Mexican churro fit into the spirit of Christmas in Poland? We don't care. If it's good, it's worth it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Secret Smaku? Secret Smaku? I didn't see Secret Smaku at the Christmas fair before. Oh, this, these are the guys, I don't know, lots of other videos I talk about Secret Smaku. I love Secret Smaku. My favorite pierogi from Secret Smaku. But it's a, all their stuff is good. Well done, people. Good choice. Croquettes, potato pancakes. I love Secret Smaku. I made videos just about Secret Smaku. This video is sponsored by Secret Smaku. See how popular the, uh, the smoked cheese is? 
This is more like your delicatessen to get the cooked meats to take home. It's about five zloty or 4.7 zloty to the dollar. So this is like $20, probably like $18. This is more like my, another delicatessen. That's more like my sort of cheese. You cannot go wrong with the delicatessens mm. in Poland. The, the meats and cheeses here, high quality. See, look, he's got his a little kiln already. Horseshoes, bottle openers. Been worked on real time. Wow, it really got busy. The minute it got dark, got a lot busier. Chimney cakes. I still haven't had a chimney cake. Two years, two years, two years in Krakow and I didn't get a chimney cake yet. They kind of look dry to me. There's, there's, there's a way to alienate half my audience in one go. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. I can definitely vouch for the waffles. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Did you see it? Can I see your waffle? Oh, shit. That, that's awesome. Good choice. <laughs> they looked a little small to me. That we had waffle places not far from here where we used to live. And they were amazing there, but they're about twice the size of that. They're so good. Choices of mulled wine. Already a line building for that. Hard to know where to turn.
very, very sweet smell from the nuts. If you want chocolate, we got chocolate. Slippers from Zakapani? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, we were there last week looking at the slippers. All good. I'm making this for the world. Excellent. They're excellent quality. This video is brought to you by Zakapani Tourist Authority. Okay. Did I see everything? This is the stuff they make out of um, sesame. Some nuts. Baklava. Pierogi. Now I'm surprised the you know maybe the pierogi is not got a bigger line because this is this you get all year long. But if you're a visitor here and you don't you know pierogi is absolutely something to have. That looks nice. So, this is the slabs of bread again. I, I will have to put the camera down for a little bit and go and uh, take a sample. This is what I was talking about. I thought I'd see more of these. You can hear the clip clop of the horse and carts. I don't know what I'm going to choose to eat. Potato cakes? Potato cakes? Pancakes? No. Potato cakes. Potato cakes? No. No. I don't know what that is. Maybe this, ah, well. Langosh. Yeast dough, well, that's new. Polish? Polish. I don't remember, I don't remember seeing that before. Okay. I know what I want. I know what I want. From the kielbasa. I want a big dog. Oh. Oh. Let's let's just let's just add. oh that's a little dog. <laughs> that's a half a dog. There's so there's a big dog coming up. Chimney cakes, nuts and seeds. So remember, four or five is lottie to the dollar. So, you know, chimney cake. Less than five bucks. You vlogger, mate. Uh, 
Anyway, don't watch his channel, watch my channel, Planet Krakow, because we are from Krakow. We are the Krakow channel. Well, he's showing you the french fries, I'm showing you the kebabs and the meat. And more. And more. Laceware. Something else that's very popular. have been uh, a flight from uh, Glasgow arrived I think today. Uh, how about this for your, uh, your little ones? Some fur waistcoats, little fur booties. I think that would be a that would be a unique gift. Blankets I was talking about. These are the blankets I was talking about. Bought one last week in Zakapani. You're so so good. And then I found him, I found Rainbow Guy. Ethnic ethnic wear. Flown in, <laughs> flown in from Qatar just for the uh, season. No, but maybe this is. There you go. This is what we're talking about. A crack off 2022 Christmas market. It's going to be here all of December. It's only going to get better here. I know they'll they'll get a tree up. They're going to get the tree up next weekend. There'll be festivities going on, and there's a big stage set up over there. They'll have all sorts of music celebrations. Like I said, the Shopkey event on Thursday the 1st, for me, is the highlight. Because that is unique to Krakow. But all of December, it's going to be a beautiful place to come visit. It's a beautiful place anyway. So, I'm going to go get some food. There's a big dog over there with my name on it. And I'm going to go check out the bauble shop that's here all year. Which for me has the best baubles in Krakow. We got a lot of them last year. I want to see if they've got any new ones for this year. Now, here's, here's, this is the regular Krakow stuff anyway. Right? Which is just you want to see. All of the tourist restaurants, the great bars and restaurants. This is year round. They're covered, they're, they're all in Christmas mood as well. And here's our other tip, Mariatsky. Alongside, look here. You see restaurant here number seven. I'm hoping it's still here this year, but there's a well-kept secret. Next door to restaurant here number seven. You have to go through the the alleyway and you're gonna find the best ornament shop in Krakow. The ones in the market are nice. The ones in the bauble shop I think are better. We, we, bought, we bought a lot in here last year if you look on our video we got everything with Krakow but we didn't get anything for Zakopani. And we made a video. We have the dogs, 
So can I take a zakopan? I'll take this one. Okay. Excellent. We did a nice video from Zach Capani. Red? Uh, I think the black. Okay. Excellent. It's I just it's a really interesting ornament shop. Because this is actually owned by the folks that have the factory. Many of these are unique. Again, you know, the shop key, the cribs, this is what they look like. This I bought last year, the tram. Excellent. He said the train, the train is new this year. How fun is that? You got hand painted, you've got glass blown. I got one of these last year with the trumpeter. This is what Krakow does. Well, just behind the market, the cloth hall, take your ride on the horse and carriage, the Mariatsky. Well done, Krakow. You made Christmas beautiful. So under the Mariatsky. Oh yeah, that's a big dog. They don't get much bigger. This is what it's all about. Did you get that over there? I did. Is it yummy? It's very yummy. It's just it says big dog. That's what you're looking for, Stan. That's all they sell is big dogs. Chocolate banana. Mm. So I just had a chocolate banana, like I showed you earlier. 18 zloty. This is like $4. My big dog was 30 zlotties. My big dog was 30 zlotties. Six, six dollars. Brilliant, can't beat that. Excellent, both, both really good. But I think that's enough of me uh, sticking large phallic shaped objects in my mouth for one night. So I was describing the shop key to you, right? So now I'm gonna show you one. Because after they're presented in the square this Thursday, few days later they're going to be on display here again just off the market on the square itself you're looking for 
Museum Christa, Christa, Christofori. And this is where they'll be on display, which later in December it will be an absolutely wonderful thing to come and see. But to give you a flavor of what we're talking about, this is the sort of thing the people of Krakow build. And this is what they will bring here and put on display. I mean, the people, some of the people literally work all year on these things. And they're motorized and have lights and carousels. And it's just, you know, regular folks spending a lot of time to build these works of art. And when they come on the square, you know, they're just walking, carrying these things around. Your heart's in your mouth because you're worried they're gonna, stuff's gonna break because they're so ornate. But it's such a spectacle. So Thursday, 1st of December, look out for these. It's almost uh, Dickensian like. So, as I said, if you come in here and you've watched, please leave, leave a note. Tell us what you thought. If you've got some other activities lined up in Krakow that are going to be Christmas themed, let us know. Maybe we can make some videos on those things too. One last stroll through on my way home. No, tak obiecałam, że tu nie ma się, nie? And right back to where we started from. Good night from Krakow.